Hey guys, we got some news regarding Star Wars gaming and this comes from StarWars.com itself. It says here, Electronic Arts and Lucasfilm Games announced new Star Wars titles in development from Respawn Entertainment. Three unique games are on the way from the studio behind Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, which was an amazing game. Star Wars gamers get ready for the new galaxy and genre spanning adventures. EA and Lucasfilm Games announced today that they will join forces once again for three new Star Wars titles. The next title in the Star Wars Jedi franchise, a strategy game and a first person shooter, all currently in development from Respawn Entertainment. Crap, they got like big, huh? The studio got big to like develop three games at the same time, that's pretty huge. So first things first, uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, the first game, was amazing. Uh, it got like really good reviews, it sold a lot of copies, everybody was happy about it, the critics were happy, the players were happy. I believe that game did really well, and I know a lot of people, myself included, are very hyped for the sequel. I beat the first 100%, loved every part of it, it was super awesome, I can't wait, it should be like, it should make him a ton of money, right? Shepherding the next installment in the Star Wars Jedi story is a game director, Stick as Musin of Respawn, Peter Hirschman, game director, who has a long and accomplished history with Star Wars, that's good to hear, leads the development of Respawn's Star Wars first person shooter. Okay, so first of all, once again, see I didn't even know it was called Star Wars Jedi, I thought it was called Star Wars Fallen Order, I don't remember the Jedi part, but I guess it makes sense, I guess it was Jedi, so Jedi Fallen Order, so now we're gonna get Jedi uh, Revival or something, right? Um, like I said, the first game was super awesome, I can't wait for the sequel, I, I find that the first game, they kind of like took a gamble with it, you know? They kind of had some ideas, they put them out there, they got maybe they had like a limited budget because nobody was sure what was going on with the game. Is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be like, is it gonna be a scam? Who knows? They did their best, they came up with the game, it was super good, a lot of people loved it, like I said, myself included. However, the game itself uh, was still lacking some stuff, I find, there was, a, there was like a bit of backtracking, um, there was the, we had like, what, like a couple of planets to explore, the stages were fairly reserved, the enemies were fairly reserved, right? So, I'm sure now that, you know, they got like the um, investors backing them because they made a ton of money with the first one, they can really go all out. So I'm talking like more planets, more exploration, um, more enemies, um, maybe like a more, a, a more developed uh, skill tree for example because the first the first game was fairly simple maybe like more you know jedi moves more like saber combat uh more stages like the first stage in the game with the train right which was like super like action-packed and looked like a freaking movie right and then you get to discover planets and it's a bit slower right but it's fine it's exploration was cool uh all that good stuff right now you can really go out and also what i really want from the second game give me like double lightsabers I know you kind of had it in the first game, but it was only like a special move. I want full-on double lightsaber combat, please. Um, so then it talks about a first-person shooter. Which... I'm thinking... I don't think it's going to be something like Battlefront 3. I don't think so. But what I'm hoping is something like Republic Commando 2. I know people have been, been wanting Republic Commando 2 for like the past 20 years or something. And they did just release a remake of the first game, which I don't know if it did good or bad, but they just did maybe as a testing ground, you know, see if people are still interested. Maybe they had like, they, they filled up their numbers. And of course, this is just wishful thinking, but that would be like a really cool game. A Republic Commander 2 or um, Battlefront 3, I'll take it. I don't know what else they could come up with. Maybe something new. It's very possible. Um, I'm also, this would also work on the Republic Commando side because they could make something from the... Jedi from the original trilogy, Republic Commander from the prequels, and then they can make a strategy game, which is the next. A new studio helmed, okay, so it's a new studio, helmed by games industry veteran Greg Forsch, will create a new Star Wars strategy game developed through a production collaboration between Respawn and Bit Reactor. I don't, I'm not too sure what that is. Respawn will produce the new Star Wars strategy game while Bit Reactor release development of the title. Okay, so they're gonna do a lot of the work. Gotcha. Um, I don't know, I don't know about a strategy game, but maybe like something said in the uh, sequel trilogy as much as we all love and adore that uh, sequel trilogy. <laughs> Sarcasm. Um, 
but again strategy game what does it mean right is it like an rts is it turn based is it something like knights of the old republic knights of the old republic 3 though that would be sick and then you can at the same time right you have a game set in original trilogy you have a game set in the prequel and you have a game set in the uh, old republic i mean it could work right um unless they want to bring back that star wars game called empire at war i think it was which was like real-time strategy which uh had cool space combat but like the ground combat was like not that good i remember from what i remember i remember playing it back in the day uh i don't know or maybe something completely new right we'll see we're excited to continue working with the superbly talented teams at respawn i agree respawn's pretty good so far uh what, what they made was pretty good said douglas riley vp lucas uh, film games they have demonstrated excellence in telling epic star wars stories along with best in class gameplay across different genres and we're looking forward to bringing more amazing experiences to the galaxy far far away building on the previous successes of our ea relationship this new collaboration highlights and trust the trust and mutual respect shared between the world-class teams at ea respawn and lucas film games said sean shopta svp walt disney games Fostered by the expertise and passion within each team, we'll create thrilling original games for the diverse audiences across the Star Wars galaxy. So I don't know if you guys remember, but EA had sole ownership of Star Wars gaming until last year or something. And when they lost the license, a lot of people were like, oh yeah, finally we got rid of EA and they're never going to make uh, games, Star, Wars ga Star Wars games again. Now the license can go to like the license can go to like different companies and different studios and they can make like different stuff. And we're back at square one with EA making Star Wars games. So again, I don't know. A lot of uh, a lot of the internet was clickbaiting for that though, from what I remember. But I guess we're back to EA. I mean, nothing has really changed. Then maybe they can give their Star Wars license to like other companies. I don't know if they will, but for the moment, it looks like it's still EA. I mean, Respawn is part of EA, so. Yeah, we're still going down that path. Uh, working with Lucasfilm Games on a new FPS in the Star Wars galaxy is a dream come true for me, as this is a story I have always wanted to tell. Oh, interesting. As this is a story I always wanted to tell. So he, this guy has something in his mind here. He already has like a plan laid out. He already, ha like, he already has an idea of what he's going to do with it. Said Hirschman. Hirschman previously worked as VP of Development of LucasArts, and was executive producer on the original Star Wars Battlefront games. Okay, so these are the old Battlefront games, the original, which people really loved back then. They were pretty massive. Um, maybe it could be Battlefront 3. I don't know. He has experience in it. I don't know. I personally want to see Republic Commander 2, but if it's Battlefront 3, I'll take it. I'll take it. Vince Zampella, group GM and founder of Respawn, will oversee this new phase of EA's relationship with Lucasfilm. By the way, this guy became the uh, something important at um, DICE as well, no? For Battlefield? This is the guy. And this guy is, from what I've seen, from what I read, he's fairly well respected in the gaming industry. Apparently he's like really good. Apparently he cares a lot about gaming, so that's good to hear. Building on Respawn's award-winning history in game development and expertise in telling compelling Star Wars stories. We are huge fans of Star Wars and we are thrilled to work with Lucasfilm Games on new titles that we have wanted to make for years. As Ampella, if you want to make great Star Wars games, you should come join us on our journey. Stay tuned to StarWars.com for more of these games in the future. So, uh, it looks bright. It looks cool. I mean, so far, everything that, uh, the only thing that's sure is Jedi, Jedi 2. Uh, we got a possibility of Battlefront 3 or Republic Commando 2 or something new. As when it comes to the strategy game, could be freaking anything. Um, hoping uh, Knights, of the Re Knights of the Old Republic 4 or 3, depending if you want to count the Old Republic as 3 and then move to 4 or whatever you want. Because those are amazing games as well. But really, it could be freaking anything. So, I don't know. I want to see what they do with this. Uh, it's still EA. Once again, that hasn't changed, uh, for better or worse. Um, sounds exciting. I can't wait for Jedi 2. That one, that one's like a pre-order guaranteed, uh, guaranteed pre-order. I can't wait to play that game. Thank you for watching. Peace out.